ready? Let's hold. I'll start it. Okay, now hold here. Hold it. Mm -hmm. This finger, watch out for. Okay, good. Keep going. To who? The horse? Um, no. Hot candy. Oh, okay. Look, I got the hot dog. Like this? Oh, you, knees on here? Okay. Woo! Knees are down. <laughs> you ready? Then we go like this. We put our butt up. Wow. Yep, yeah, good. And then we breathe out. And then. Yeah. Now like this, legs up, you do this, <laughs> good, nice, and down, and we lay back, like this, good, it's a good stretch, huh? Good stretch. Good stretch. <laughs> Like this. Can you do this? Can I make him closer to show you? Nope. Oh, I'm not doing it! You got it? One, down, two, down, three, down, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Nice. High five. Hello, you guys. I'm off to the doctor right now to check on the baby. We're 38 weeks pregnant today. Today's just going to be like a simple day in my life vlog, but I'm also going to be sharing with you guys how I'm preparing my body for labor, like what I'm doing to get it ready. So you guys will see that throughout. Um, so yeah, let's get driving because I'm going to be late. I'm out of breath. And hopefully, you know, everything is good, which I'm pretty sure everything is good. I'm just ready to get this baby out. So I just got out. Everything went really, really well. I decided not to do like a cervix check or anything, which I really appreciate in this office with the midwives because I actually get asked if I want things done or not done because they're not necessary. I've done a lot of reading and research on like how I want my birth to be and what it really is and how natural it is as well. So I think it's really important to educate yourself if you're in the same boat, um, pregnant or not pregnant or wanting to be pregnant or expecting and so on. Um, I think it's great to be able to make decisions for your own body and your baby as well. But I just also want to say, like, my birth plan this time is 
I guess pretty intense. When I was pregnant with Jaden, I had no birth plan. I always like feared labor from what I was told, what I heard from other people and things like that. And after educating myself and taking a course on birth, I find it really fascinating and magical and I think that's what it should be. So my birth plan, just a few things that I want to maybe mention that maybe you guys want to look into. I'm not going to go like fully into it because it might be a little bit overwhelming for some of you, <laughs> but I do want to do delayed cord clamping. Um, I do definitely want to do skin on skin contact and delay any like bathing um, if possible. I want to be able to move around during labor. So moving around and not laying down at all, which is really great in the hospital that I'm going to be in. I could even like start laboring in the shower and I can move around any way I want, any position. Like I actually have a whole cheat sheet from the birth course that I took. Um, it's called Built to Birth. She's actually here on Instagram too. I forget her name, but the course was amazing. A whole cheat sheet on like labor positions. So hubby knows what's happening and how to help me as well. And relaxation techni techniques, as well as some like positive affirmations and like meditations um, to listen to while I'm in labor as well to help calm down. Breathing techniques. Like I'm honestly like really excited for all of it, even though I know it's going to be an intense journey um, I am looking forward to it so yeah I want the most natural labor as possible I don't want to you know do the whole Pitocin and epidural thing obviously if my body can't take it anymore and like I feel like this is the max pain that I can take I probably will you know, decide to maybe take some kind of pain medication, which is w whether it's epidural or whatever, um, because I know that I don't have to prove anything to myself to go all the way fully through if I really can't, but I would love to be able to go all the way through naturally. Um, but again, I'm going to do what's best in the moment and how I feel. So we will see how it goes. And again, just excited for it. Baby's still brewing and cooking in there. So we'll see when he or she makes their appearance into my arms. So I printed these out and put them in a sheet so they're easy and reusable for us. So these are the relaxation techniques and all these different labor positions that come in the course as well. And it tells you, for example, like how to do it and you know that it's for early labor or once in active labor and so on so really helpful and these are birth preferences that I need to like finish checking off and figuring out because um, apparently this did not work when I did it <laughs> Where your mind leads, your body follows. All right, so I'm in the car again because I just got done with the chiropractor. That is another thing that I'm doing differently uh, for this baby. It wasn't really planned to do chiropractor throughout the whole thing. I thought I was going to quit, but I was like, it actually helps put like baby in the right position and everything. 
So it's been really lovely because, you know, your body hurts carrying and creating a whole human being. You know, your back pain and your lower back, upper back, everything ends up hurting. So it's been really relaxing getting a massage, getting adjusted, and I feel great after it. Honestly, after this one, I was like, I'm ready to go into labor. So I am going to be on my way home now. I think we're going to have sourdough pizza tonight. And I don't know what kind of toppings we'll do yet, but I'm really excited to eat. I'm actually starving right now. Um, so that's really going to be the end of the night plans. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Uh, I don't think. I follow that once I am. That's, a, that's true. Okay. That's the scissors. Put the scissors back, okay? I'm going to pour over here now. Okay, how do we roll this? No? no. What do you want to pour? Oh, that's expert? the glue. What? Are you an expert over here? Mm, what are you doing? <laughs> This works so much easier, <laughs> You want some? What? Wait, oh, you dirty, you dirty the jersey. Oh my god. I said to make a little ring. Here's his rounds. Yeah, what happened to yours? Okay, round. I gotta give you this, right? I gotta close that off of this. Mine's gonna be more like a flat bread, I guess. <laughs> yep. That's what it is. So it has been a really long day. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was kind of like a little bit of a mix of everything. But I just want to say I think it's really important to educate yourself on labor and to really envision what kind of labor you want for yourself. And, you know, more power to you if you do know what's going on with your body through pregnancy, through postpartum, through labor, and so on. And not only do I think it's important to prepare your body physically, but mentally as well. So that's where you guys saw the meditations and the affirmations. And I think it's just really important to be on the same page with your partner um, and to mentally prepare yourself not only with knowing like what's going on in labor, and you know breathing techniques and everything but also being okay with the fact like I don't know how to explain it don't block yourself if something's bothering you talk about it before you know you go into labor because if something's keeping you there you're like going to just not progress if that makes any sense I hope that makes sense so I just feel like you have to be in a good mental state overall, not necessarily just prepared for in labor, but just in your life in order to have a stressful, I should say, not stressful, a non-stressful environment. Because even like reading about certain things, you can literally just go backwards in labor if something is bothering you. So again, being a good physical and mental state, prepare yourself as best as you can, and educate yourself as well. And I love how Jaden is just dancing there in the back. Um, but yeah, again, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you found it helpful, if you really liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. It is completely free. And uh, that's about it. Oh, one more thing. Again, I'm always on Instagram. If you guys want more like live updates and things like that that are more recent i'm always on instagram so you'll definitely know when i go into labor there 
Um, I'll put my Instagram handle right here for you guys. And that's about it. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. What do you want to say? Bye bye, next video. See you in the next video? See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.